Hi, Freddy here on the back with a scratch desktop. I don't know if any of you are aware of a thing called Disney Infinities. Now, I have to admit that I'm not 100% aware of what they are. Um, I believe they're connected to some kind of game through RFID. Um, in the past, though, I was very lucky that my wife and one of my friends got me a couple of the uh, figures out of it. Here's Stitch. My wife got me a lovely detailed Stitch out of Lilo and Stitch. Um, knowing that I absolutely adore that film, it's the one sort of Disney kids film that I like, apart from the Pixar ones, because they're fantastic. And you can see it's got like an RFID chip or something, and I believe you sit them on and you get the characters in games. But despite that, even if you don't have the game, they are beautifully detailed little characters. That's a marvellous little one. Let's stick him up there. And one of my friends got me a Venom. Now, back in the old computer demo scene days, hacking and cracking and all that, my handle was Venom. So he got me this. Now, it is lovely. It's not a version of the character I'm particularly aware of, but it's beautifully detailed. He's a bit more Hulk-like than I'd like, but amazingly good. Well, those two have sat on my shelf for a number of years. And I was recently taking a visit to the wonderful British institution, which is Poundland. Uh, very similar to American dollar stores, I imagine. Everything's a pound. And I wandered in and found Kanan out of Rebels. Now, I have to admit, he's one of my favourite characters in Rebels. And they just had a shelf full of Kanan. A beautifully detailed little figure, again with the RFID in the bottom for playing the character in whatever game it is. But for a pound, I was amazingly happy to get that and add it to my shelf. But I started to look around the other pound stores in the town, because somebody had mentioned that basically Disney Infinity has now been discontinued. And the figures are just being dumped everywhere. So, nipping into... Um, Pound World rather than Pound Land, I was happy to discover Luke and Leia ones. Now, they don't really look as much like the characters as Kanan does, because obviously he was a cartoon character before. But again, they are very nice little statuettes. And for a pound, who can complain? Can Looks bright blue eyes piercing there. But who can complain at them? And then searching further, I found another box set which came with Finn and Ray. Again, absolutely beautiful detailed figures. Ray there. But again, because they're from a movie and not animation, they do look a little odd. Um, Finn's looking a bit too fierce. Um, I also found Han Solo. Again, a pound. But while he's got an interesting look on his face, this really doesn't look like Han. It's got a great stance. It's a lovely detailed statuette for one pound. But, really, is that Harrison Ford? I don't think so. But, terrifically, I also found the remainder of the Rebels. So we've got Zeb. An absolutely gorgeous posed statuette. So detailed. One pound. Just a pound for Zeb. Got season two Ezra with his floppy hair and his fancy lightsaber blaster. The feet are a bit weird, but because they're cartoon characters, this works. They are absolutely great. Logo on the back of his jacket. So detailed. And we've got Sabine with a spray gun and a spray painted Stormtrooper helmet at the bottom there. So. That's my set at the moment. My 
shelf of interesting little toys is getting very full. Um, although I would really love to get Hira and Chopper to add to the set. But not for more than a pound. Who can complain at these? One quid. What can you buy for a pound these days? Can't buy a bottle of juice for a pound, but apparently you can buy a Canaan, an Ezra, a Sabim, a Zeb, a Han, a Luke, a Leia, a Finn, a Ray, a Venom. No, well, you can't buy Venom. You can't buy Stitch. I got those before. Um, I believe they had Captain Jack Sparrow and some other characters I was not interested in. Anyway, I just wanted to give a wee glimpse into my collection. Who can really complain? Um, if anybody out there has seen these, then I can only recommend them. They're beautiful. And if you've seen a hero or a chopper, I'm willing to pay postage and the solitary bound. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, me with some of the toys I've been buying. I really should grow up one day, but it's not today. And I'll catch you later.